Hi, Brandon. Joining me today is my cousin, Derek. What's going on, everybody? We are going to go test out full self-driving beta. This is your first time seeing it in action. This is. I'm excited. We are going to be very critical of autopilot and full self-driving beta's decisions. I'm going to be rating stuff on a scale from one to five. I invite everybody who's watching this video in the comments to comment with me and tell me if you agree with my judgment, if you disagree, if you think it could be better, it could be worse. This is all part of the beta testing process is getting feedback from other people and their thoughts on how it can be improved. And my hope is that maybe Tesla's autopilot team sees this at some point and maybe gets some feedback on how they can be making this smarter because once this is smart enough, then it will be going out to the rest of the world. And then we're gonna start seeing people sleeping in the backseat of their cars because the software is smart enough to do that. Probably not for a while, but that's coming. Well, that's when I'm gonna buy one. Oh, okay. I'm gonna be able to sleep, so. Okay, well, uh, it might be a little ways away, but eventually it's coming. All right, let's pick our destination. Um, let's say, navigate to In-N-Out. And let's pick one that's like, just in time for lunch. Oh, true, do you want In-N-Out for lunch? I'm down for that. Really? Oh yeah. Sick. Okay, let's pick this one. Perfect, it'll take us on the freeway a little bit. Awesome, let's okay. run it. So I'm gonna do this. And okay. the car is now making all of our decisions. Okay. It's inching forward to make sure we're clear. And then there's a guy that's okay. angry behind me. <laughs> oh, wait, there's no stop. Yeah, there's no stop. Yeah, but we had already passed it. Maybe it just was weird. <laughs> Off to a great start. Yeah. Wait, so the dude behind us actually got upset just now because the car wouldn't go? Yeah. So what happened right there is the car was inching forward. It was taking too long. So I actually stepped on the accelerator and mm -hmm. forced it to go. Okay. So you're able to take over like that as well? Yeah. So that counts as an intervention. Mm -hmm. um, there are interventions and then there are disengagements. If it's a disengagement, I have to turn it off all the way and take back over. An intervention is I'm encouraging it to make a decision. Got it. This guy's gonna get ticked at me again. I know, right? Okay, so autopilot's paused. It's also gonna show messages here um, to explain to us what its thinking process is. This is also a good left turn because cars come out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. There it goes. I'm sorry, it got mad at me for looking. It knows that my eyes aren't watching the road. Mm. Now it looks like it thinks this is the lane. It does. And we are definitely in the center. Of this is definitely <laughs> the turn lane, not the, uh, well I guess it is turning into yeah. a lane here. Okay. I mean, so I don't think law enforcement would like that. I, I don't think, <laughs> I think you're right. I'm going to give that a two out of five yeah. for a left hand turn into the turn lane and not getting into the main lane. Mm -hmm. um, legally. The law says that when you get into a turn lane, you can use it for up to 100 feet, and then you have to get into a main lane. Mm. I think we drove more than 100 feet right there. I think that was definitely more than 100 feet. How did it feel with the turn, though? Like turn smoothness. was smooth. Yeah, I mean, I've seen you know, I've obviously watched a couple of your videos. I've seen some pretty janky left turns, but <laughs> that was uh, that was smooth. I would I would give it a good score on that one. Okay, so um, on a scale of one to five, janky to butter. The turn, I would say butter. Okay. Uh, All right. The begin the, the the beginning. You know, we were already down a point right there. Yeah. I that wasn't that great. That was bad. Or two points. I know. Um, but I love the I love the um, heads up display here, Sh seeing everything in real time. Oh yeah, check it out. Let me show you this. Super cool. So I can actually expand it and okay. it goes wider and it's it like three quarters of the screen. Yeah. yeah. So I can if I put my music bar up, then it shrinks, and then if I shrink it, that yeah, that's awesome. Oh, and it's God. showing brake lights. So yeah. what was that? So it beeped at me again. It said, please pay attention to the road. It got mad at me for watching the screen instead okay. of the road. So here's another left turn. Okay. So it kind of went to the right and then the left, yeah. which is a little weird. It swung out a little bit. But How'd that feel? That was good as well. I mean, it was, you know. Scale one to five. Uh, I would give that one four. Oh, I'm okay. sorry, three. I'll give it a three. Okay. It was a little, you know. I'd give it like a three and a half. So it's actually defaulted to five over. I okay. put it up a little faster because these guys are all going 45. Okay. Um, but it was actually just going to keep us at 40 okay. for a little bit there. I put on a blinker and then turn it off. That was weird. Okay. Definitely not its best drive so far. Good braking distance though. Yeah. It's comfortable. Mm. 
So it's going to show you here the darker car on the screen is the one that's following, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, interestingly, too, because I'm in a Model 3, the camera system that it's using right now, there's three up here. Okay. There's two on the left side of the car, two on the right side, one in the back. But the triple camera up here, there's one that's angled that way, one that's angled that way, and then one straight forward. That's where most of this info in front of us is coming from. Okay. Um, because I'm in a shorter car, the Model 3, it can only see the SUV in front of us. Okay. It can't see beyond him, even oh, though there's like yeah. 10 cars in front so of us. So if you were in an X, it would probably be able to... I've be been wondering that. Better. Yeah, yeah okay. I want to test that and see in a taller Tesla if it can see more on the screen when it's doing full self-driving beta. I'll have to reach out to the Tesla Las Vegas group and see if there are any Model X owners. Oh, I was going to say, that's a cool idea. Did you see that? Oh, yeah, that was... It caught the yellow light. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. Yeah, new definitely was not going to make that, but... Yo. So see, check it out. It can even see faintly the, the, um, the left turn lanes. Do you know, and it sees a car way there, it looks like. Do you know, yeah. what's the distance that it's actually viewing? 75 feet. Okay. Hmm. Roughly. I wonder how it would do, I know there's a giant intersection by a Chipotle uh, southeast of us that has the traffic, oh my gosh, we should actually go there. You wanna go to Chipotle? It, it, no, I mean, it, like we'll go to the In-N-Out, but yeah, I wanna yeah. take you through that intersection. It's like this weird, it's like four different ways, but it's at an angle. And the traffic okay. lights are all in the center on one po It's like really, really weird. Okay. I'll see if I can find it on the way back. Sure. Um, just for curiosity. Sure. I love this futuristic. I mean, it'd be great to... Motorcycle. Man, I can see this being a VR thing soon. Right? You know, just completely immersed. Imagine controlling your car from a VR set. Okay, so no left turn signal. Yeah, where was the blinker right weird. there? I mean, it was a smooth transition, mm -hmm. but where was the blinker? Okay, so let's do a scale from one to 10. I feel like we need to be a little more accurate. How would you rate that entire drive? The entire drive, I would give it anywhere from a seven and a half to eight. I mean, there were just small, minute things. Like we had already, right in the beginning, we already had passed the stop sign. So it probably freaked it out a little bit. I know it sensed it. Left hand turn into that center median for a little bit, whatever. That was pretty bad. Yeah, that was that was bad. I mean, I would, <laughs> I would say that was the biggest point off. I mean, the left-hand turn signals is, is something that some people don't even do regardless, so it's not like it's necessary. The left turn where it swung out to go left um, once we got off the freeway was a little bad. Yep. Um, but other oh, and then the last um, acceleration to quick break yep. as we turn right in and in and out. Yep. So I would say like anywhere from a 7 to an 8, probably 7.2, 7-ish area. Okay, all yeah. right. I... I agree. There was nothing undrivable. Mm -hmm. It didn't make any decisions where I had to take over. So if that was a life or death situation where I needed to send my car alone somewhere and I was allowed to, it would have made it. Mm -hmm. It would have made the trip. Totally. But yeah, it did a few things that I totally would not have done myself. And if there was a cop watching, we were driving through the turn lane, might have gotten us in trouble. Yep. But all in all, I'm going to give it a seven. I think Actually, I'm going to give it a six and a half okay. because it did do a few things. First of all, it wouldn't go at first, and that guy behind us honked at us. Mm -hmm. That was a bummer. Yeah. Take someone else off. Um, the left turn thing was a bummer. It made a really janky left turn. That first turn was a little weird, yeah. I yeah, like it, it was definitely jerky, definitely janky. Um, the freeway thing, it slammed on the brakes a tiny bit before it happened, and then just now coming into the in and out parking lot, it slammed on the brakes. Oh, that's true. I forgot about the freeway, the, the um, turn into the right-hand lane to get off the off-ramp. Yeah, that was yeah. a little weird. So, like, it made the drive, but if it was, like, like me, I'm fine. Like, I understand tech, I understand how to be careful, but if it was my mom mm -hmm. behind the wheel, yeah. she would have been screaming every single one of those moments. It felt like a 15 and a half year old with his uh, driver's permit. His yeah, it did. Yeah. That's a great way to describe it. Didn't really know how to finesse the road that well. Yeah. 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 Um, no, if it was my mom behind the wheel and the car was doing that, she would have been like, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Like every <laughs> single time it was like slamming on the brakes or it was like turning too hard. That would have made her nervous. And I understand. Mm -hmm. Like it's, totally. it wasn't a relaxing drive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You definitely had to be attentive. It's not to that point where you can just, I'm not saying you can never veg out, but just to relax a little bit more. For now, for yeah. sure. In beta, it's mm -hmm. it's not at that point yet. Nope. Um, cool. Well, thanks a bunch. Absolutely. This was rad. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, I might even have to get you back in maybe in like a few months or like six months once they put out a bunch of updates and see how much smoother it is. Totally down for that. Um, thank you for watching the video. Uh, I will put it. Uh, do you want your socials in the...
Want a shout out? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> I'll, I'll put a link to Derek's socials down in the description. Um, check out my last video up here with my sister, us also doing that test, getting all the family into the videos now. Um, and drop a comment below. Let me know what you would rate that drive on a scale from one to 10. And uh, also drop a comment if you have any ideas for future videos. Thanks very much for watching.